The governor has announced some big changes to quarantine requirements in schools that will go into effect today. So unvaccinated children no longer need to quarantine if they've come into close contact with someone who has COVID-19. Instead, the new plan calls screen and stay. It's a policy that allows those students to stay in school as long as they monitor their symptoms. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Ig Lil is at Newington High School. And what's the reason behind this change, Aya? Well, Wendell and Nicole, the governor says this is about keeping kids in school and avoiding disruptions. And state health officials say similar approaches have worked in other states. Teaching is messy, and it was so hard to do online. It has been nearly 20 months since COVID struck, leaving a profound impact on schools and education. Now, a big change is intended to help limit loss of learning and disruptions. Under the screen and stay policy, unvaccinated students and staff no longer have to quarantine if they're a close contact to a known COVID-19 case. They can stay in school as long as they keep a mask on and monitor for symptoms. It's up to individual school districts if they want to implement the policy. Statewide policy already lets vaccinated students stay in class. State health officials say the spread of COVID in schools remains low in Connecticut. The governor says his administration will continue encouraging students to get vaccinated. If we still maintain our low community spread, the like, like Connecticut has been a leader over the last six months or so, um, I think we'll be able to announce some changes. And those changes include potentially lifting the mask mandate in schools. The governor says he'll be keeping a close eye on Connecticut's COVID numbers over the holidays. Additionally, children ages five and up can now get vaccinated. Reporting live in Newington this morning, Aguilar, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.